Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah again. Praise King Jesus. I'm here again, Pastor Junge. Greetings, all of you, in the name of our Lord Jesus. Um, I'm again encouraged to share with us from the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 20, where the Bible says, uh, But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Hallelujah. So the Bible talks about a large house, and I want us to understand what is this house, and what are these vessels that he's talking about. So he says that in a large house are vessels not just made of gold, but others for silver, others made of clay, others made of wood. So we want to begin by understanding when he talks about a, a, a house, what is this house? This house is you and I. We are the body. And, and this body is a house. And inside the body, there are vessels that are found inside. And I think we can just try to demystify and go very fast about the vessels that are found in this one big uh, house called the body. Because the Bible says that your body is the temple of God. Your body is the house where the Spirit of God liveth. So once we begin by understanding that the large house we are talking about is the body of a believer, it is you and I, then we are going to another level to understand the vessels that are found inside that uh, house. And the first uh, particular, uh, uh, I want to mention all of them, and then I will clarify one by one so very fast for the glory and honor of the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So there is a vessel called heart, there is a vessel called soul, there is a vessel called called spirit, there is a vessel called mind. I want us to look at those uh, uh, four in the name of our Lord Jesus. Let me begin by this vessel called a, a, a heart. You know, the Bible says that love your God with all your heart, with all your soul. So before he begins by introducing soul, he begins by introducing heart. Love your God with all your heart. Why the heart? Because we all understand that the work of the heart is to pump and supply blood to the rest of the body. And when we go back to the book of Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11, God says that the life of every creature is in the blood. And I've given you that blood for atonement for you to come at one meant for you to be reconciled to me so if the life of every creature is in the blood and the work of the heart is to pump to supply blood to the rest of the body then it means that if the life is found in the blood and the heart supplies the blood so what the heart does the heart supplies the life to the rest of the body that's why we receive and we believe from the heart from within our heart if you believe in your heart that jesus christ you know the faith should be developed in the heart so that the heart can supply it to the rest of our body to the rest of our life and spheres of life in the name of our lord jesus so the heart plays a major role in our salvation you believe and then you confess so that's why the heart ought to be one among the vessels of honor if your heart is against god if you have a negative attitude in your heart pertaining god then it means that your life is at risk and you will demonstrate something that is contrary to the calling number two we have the mind the bible says in the book of colossians chapter 3 fix your mind on things above where christ is so if your mind is conformed to the patterns of the world you know he also says do not conform to the patterns of this world but rather be transformed by the renewal of your mind so if our minds are renewed then we are going to reason like christ we are going to connect to what christ wants because the mind is one among the best vessels there should be vessels of honor in the life of a believer. So I want to encourage somebody. Don't just be a person who says I'm born again. Make sure your heart is a vessel of honor. Make sure your mind is a vessel of honor. He also talks about the soul. Love your God with all your heart, with all your soul. So your soul is another vessel of honor. Remember in Ezekiel he says that every 
soul that sins shall perish. So when it comes to soul, you also need to protect and to guide your soul, to ensure that your soul doesn't do things that are contrary to the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. So when you walk, when you sit, when you stand, whatever you do, in your speech, how you put on everything, let it reflect Christ because your mind is Christocentric, your heart is Christocentric, your soul is, is Christocentric, and then your spirit because, you know, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8, you know, I love this, verse 16, that the, our, the Spirit of God testifies with our spirit that we are the children of God. So your spirit, the spirit of man, must agree with the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, about the belongingness, about where we belong, about who is our God, the one that we revere, the one that we worship. So that he may not say, these people worship me with their lips, but their hearts are away from me. No. Your heart should be a vessel of honor. Your soul should be a, a vessel of honor. Your spirit should be a vessel of honor. Your mind should be a vessel of honor. And once they are all vessels of honor, that house shall be a precious house, a spiritual house, with only glorious vessels of honor. Who are you to God? Let us introspect your life, your heart, your soul, your spirit, and God will do you good. Shalom. May God bless you so very much for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, share, so that we may glorify God in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you and we glorify you for this message and we declare that we are becoming the vessels of honor for us to be a house that is ready to be used for noble purposes. In Jesus' name we pray.